This is my first long range outing with my new Savage 10 FCP-SR chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. At the time of filming this video, I've only had this rifle for maybe a couple of weeks is all. I took it out on a couple short trips to do some load development and finally found a load that gave me the velocity I wanted. So my third trip out with the rifle was to do some actual long range shooting. Now we had a target at a fairly close distance of 485 yards and then also placed another target at a thousand yards. I fired a total of 10 shots at the thousand yard plate and was able to get nine out of 10 hits. One of those shots I obviously pulled and missed, but I certainly believe that the rifle is fully capable of getting 10 out of 10 hits and probably more than that, maybe perhaps double that in, in one string of fire. But it was simply a bad shot on my part, so I'm hoping to get out again and load up another 10 round magazine and see if I can't get the 10 out of 10 hits. Now I haven't really made any modifications to the rifle. I mean in the video I am using a bipod, but that's typical for me to shoot with a bipod. The bipod I'm using is a Caldwell XLA bipod. They're very affordable bipods, so don't be fooled by the price. I've had this one probably about seven years and it's seen hundreds and hundreds of rounds and it's held up extremely well for me. I also installed an Eagle Industries cheek rest and that was really just to give me a better cheek weld. And as you can see in the video, I am shooting suppressed. Now the suppressor, you know, it really didn't make the rifle any more accurate. It certainly shoots just as good without the suppressor as it does with it. But since I plan on shooting this rifle suppressed pretty much all of the time, it just makes sense to, to use a suppressor and do my load development with the suppressor. And the one I'm using is a Silencer Co. Hybrid, and I absolutely love that suppressor so far. It's been really fun to shoot with that. And as you can see, I am using a rifle scope. In this case, I chose a Sig Sauer Tango 4, which is the 3 to 12 power model. And I hope to do a video on that as well to give you a little bit more information on that rifle scope. This rifle features Savage's AccuTrigger, and for those of you that don't know much about the AccuTrigger, it's basically an adjustable trigger that allows you to customize your trigger pull weight. It's a very safe trigger, and in my experience, it's been very reliable and very consistent as I've shot some really good groups with it. And all of my Savage rifles actually still have the AccuTrigger in them. I haven't felt the need to buy any aftermarket triggers. I've been really happy with the AccuTrigger, and I know there's mixed feelings on it, but in my case, I, I'm a fan. I, I really think it's a decent trigger. Now, mine came in this rifle set at 2.5 pounds, and I've actually just left it at that. I didn't adjust it at all. Some of my AccuTriggers are a bit lighter, and I chose to adjust them to that, that pull weight. But honestly, the 2.5 pounds that this one came at felt really good and I've shot so far really well with it. This rifle also comes with a 10 round magazine. This is a Savage magazine. I think other models come with like an Accurate Mag or some other brand of magazine. And I have read some reports online of guys saying that these magazines don't feed very well. Now I only have about 64 rounds through this rifle. That's it. So I've had very limited use but with that limited use all of my rounds have fed flawlessly. So it's run really good so far, perhaps with more rounds down range. I'll experience some of those issues, but so far I've been a fan of the 10 round magazine. Now it also comes with Savage's AccuStock. And again, for those of you that don't know much about the Accu products from Savage, the AccuStock is basically an upgraded stock that comes obviously from the factory. And it's on some of their models, so don't assume that all models will come with the AccuStock. So in purchasing a Savage, make sure if you want the AccuStock that it actually does come with that. And essentially it has an aluminum spine and bedding block in there. And again, there are mixed feelings on the AccuStock. So far this one has shot extremely well, and I know a few guys that have AccuStocks on their rifles, and they likewise shoot extremely well. Now the barrel does come threaded from the factory. It's a 5 8 by 24 thread pitch and uh, you know in this case in the video I'm just using a direct thread with my suppressor and it shoots really well. The rifle also has a 0 MOA base. Uh, it does not look to be a 20 MOA base and I read a forum where a guy had called Savage to verify what kind of base comes on what 
what rifle or what caliber of rifle and it sounds like the long actions especially like the long range shooting actions like 300 win mag or 338 lapua magnum those come with the 20 moa base my savage 110 fcp which is in 338 lapua magnum came with a with a 20 moa base but this one appears to be zero moa We shot the plate at 485 yards and decided that was too easy, so we ought to go to at least the 1,000-yard plate. And I loaded up my 10-round magazine, and originally my intent really wasn't to try to go 10 for 10 with that magazine. Uh, honestly, what I wanted to do more than anything was test my ballistic software to make sure it was giving me the appropriate firing solution to be able to achieve a, a hit at that distance. And so it gave me the firing solution. I indexed that on my turret and then sent that first round down range and suddenly hear my spotter call hit and I could see that plate swing through my rifle scope and I thought you know what I've got nine more rounds let's see if we can't go 10 for 10. So as I mentioned earlier I did pull one of those shots and that was totally my fault. Um, the rifle is certainly capable of being able to do 10 for 10 if not more and again we know we're not breaking any world records or anything like that this is just something we do for fun and turn it into like a mini competition if you will anyway i've done enough talking now so i'll let you guys watch the footage if you have any questions feel free to post those in the comments below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching guys Stand when ready. Hit. It didn't move that much, huh? No, there's not a ton of energy still in that small projectile on a big plate. Oh yeah, that's easier. Hit. Hit. These are all like center Hit. shots, Ty. Hit. For shooter. <laughs> like center shots? Yeah. Really? So weird. I don't see it hit. It just starts swinging. Yeah, like it's it's not hitting hard enough to really like disintegrate. So it's probably getting a lot more de deformation than it is explosion. Hmm. Hit. I love that. Six in a row? I'll have to look and pull it. Yep. Whoa, that's way later. Ty's gonna be my record of nine in a row. It was like three seconds later. Yeah, like I see it start swinging, and I was like, I didn't yeah, hear I wanna, it. I wanna see it. And then I heard it. <laughs> You can switch dives and you can switch your hips. Oh, top right rock. Oh. You were going for my record. I was. You also have a thinner barrel on that too. What? I saw I saw both. I saw the I saw that and I saw the hit. Don't know. I just want to be a little bit. Hit. Huh? Is that 
that? Is that eight or nine? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Man. 